This one is about Karen Kingsbury. She had just become America's number one inspirational novelist, and she was leaving the offices of her publisher in New York. She was ecstatic, and she had been told that her sales were now over 20 million. Wow. But she had no idea of what God wink was about to happen. Mm. Oh, good setup, Squire. I was so excited about my book. The first person I wanted to call was my dad. I knew he'd be so proud. But I had to stop myself. See, dad had died of a heart attack years earlier. My mind drifted to the day that he had called to tell me about a song he'd heard, how he would think about all of us whenever he heard it. Have I told you lately? It was Rod Stewart's Have I Told You Lately That I Love You. Have I told I had the lyrics engraved on the flower holder near his tombstone. We seemed to always hear the song at times when Dad would have been so proud of us, wishing he were there. But that day, as I left the Simon & Schuster building in New York with my daughter Kelsey and her husband Kyle, it wasn't likely we'd hear Dad's special Rod Stewart song. The three of us decided to visit Highline Park in Lower Manhattan. Strolling the walkways, Kyle suggested we get a picture. He tried to get one with all of us, a selfie. At that moment, a man passed by and offered to help. The man took the picture, looked at it, and said, Wow, that's lovely. As he walked off, Kelsey's eyes grew wide. Mom, do you know who that is? That's Rod Stewart. I was shocked. Sir, sir, I called after him. Are you Rod Stewart? He put his hand on my arm and said, yes, yes, I am. I told him about my dad and our special song. Tears formed in Rod Stewart's eyes. He lifted his hands upward, then looked at me. You just made my day. The three of us sat on a nearby bench after that and tried to imagine the odds of running into Rod Stewart on a day when I was missing my dad. Of course, there are no odds, and I don't doubt for a second that dad had something to do with it. Oh, my God. That is a God oh wink. But wait, there's more. Karen Kingsbury, we hope you're watching right now because we reached out to Rod Stewart. And not only did he recall meeting you and said it was a wonderful moment, he sent you this video. Hi, Karen. It must have been divine intervention that brought us together that afternoon. And I'm glad it did. I'd love you to be my guest on some of my July dates in America or in August in Las Vegas would be great too. And I dedicate a song to your late father. Have I told you lately? Apparently it was one of his favorites. And also, congratulations on the book. See you then. Bye. Oh, please. This is Rod's actually great. a very sweet guy, but oh, that story God. is That's unbelievable. Amazing. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yeah. sweet. It just shows that everybody has God winks. We just need to look for them. And you know what else, Squire? What? Everyone has a story, too, and we'll come back. <laughs> She's got something good cooking. We do. Oh, yes. we love that. We yeah. want to hear your God winks, everybody. Head to klgandhoda.com, click the Connect button, and um, you might end up in one of Squire. Squire's great books. Squire, Maybe. real quick, how do you get all these? People send them they to me. They just send them to you on your yeah. website? And he makes sure bad. that they're true. Yeah, yeah. you got to make sure That's that it's... wonderful, yeah. Squire. That was yeah. beautiful. It's so uplifting. And she's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. writer. Isn't yeah. she, She's got a Hallmark well, movies and things. She's, yeah. Her books have been adapted. A brand yeah. new book, Chasing Sunset. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. she's a lovely Well, writer. you know yeah. what? You're right. Everyone, Everyone does a have a story. And one of the loving daughters, she's going to share her special story with her mom. Plus two moms.